Hi everyone, this is Venkat Narayana from Sunya Technologies. Today I am going to discuss go to statement in C sharp. What is go to statement? The go to statement transfers the program control directly to a labeled statement. A common use of go to is to transfer control to a specific switch case label or the default label in a switch statement. We discussed with switch case label in part 22 constant pattern with switch statement in C sharp. Please go through previous video before going through this video. The go to statement is also useful to get out of deeply nested loops. We are going to discuss this concept in this video. Launch Visual Studio and create C sharp console application. We declare a variables in x is equal to 4 comma y equal to 3. Declare a variable count int count equal to 0. Using this program, we need to find the number from the array. Declare array to store values string here declare two dimensional array arr equal to new string and pass x comma y here we declare two dimensional array and pass x and y to the two dimensional array now we need to store the data into array using for loop for int i equal to 0, i less than x, i plus plus, for int j equal to 0, j less than y, j plus plus. Here we need to store the data into array, array of i comma j equal to plus plus count dot to string here we have count variable we will pre-increment the count variable and store into this location now we will print the values from the array copy this code paste here remove this statement console dot write and pass array of i comma j here we will provide some white space and then here console dot write line we will execute this code control f5 here we are getting output as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 here we have 4 rows and 3 columns we will debug this program put breakpoint here go to debug click on start debugging or f5 f11 here x is equal to 4 y is equal to 3 count is equal to 0 here we declare two dimensional array here default it's null f11 here we are passing 4 comma 3 here array size is 12 here index is like 0 0 0 1 0 2 1 0 1 1 1 2 like that now we need to store the data into array using for loop f11 here int i is equal to 0 0 less than 4 true then it goes to inner loop here j is equal to 0 0 less than 3 true then array of 0 comma 0 we need to store pre increment of count if we put cursor here here value is 1 f11 now i is equal to 0 j is equal to 1 here value is 2 here this is a string values we are storing all the data into array. Continue these steps. Here, array contains like this. Here, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 2, 3, like that. 3, 1, 11, 3, 2, 12. Now, we have data inside array. Now, we need to fetch the data using for loops. Here, i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0. So, we will print the output here 1. Later, f11 here j is equal to 1 here 1 less than 3 true then i is equal to 0 j is equal to 1 array of 0 1 we will print output like 2 like that it will continue here we have output like this so here we are printing the correct output now we need to use go to statements we will modify this code here console dot 
write off enter number to search for read the input from command prompt string my number equal to console dot read line here we we'll read the input from command prompt and that number we need to search in the array here remove this code we will write if condition if array of i comma j dot equals of my number go to found here remove this statement here write console dot write time the number my number was not found go to finish here we need to declare the labels found console dot write line the number my number is found finish console dot write line end of search here this array contains multiple values we will provide input value from command prompt we need to search that number is available in the array or not so here we are using go to we will execute this program control f5 enter number to search for 5 enter the number 5 is found end of search control f5 20 the number 20 was not found end of search we will debug this program to understand flow of execution put breakpoint here go to debug click on start debugging or f5 f11 here we need to store the data into array i will put breakpoint here f5 if you put cursor on array here we have values inside array here it contains 12 values that is 4 into 3 12 this is two dimensional array now we need to search the input value from this array read input 3 enter here in i is equal 0 0 less than 4 true then it go to inside here in j is equal 0 0 less than 3 true then array of 0 comma 0 that is 1 1 equals to my number here 3 1 equal to 3 false then here j incremented 1 j is equal to 1 1 less than 3 then here 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 is 2 2 equals to 3 false then here j is equal to 2 here 2 less than 3 here array of 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 is 3 then 3 equals to 3 true then we need to go to found here go to found here console dot write line the number 3 is found here it prints like the number 3 is found let it finish label will execute f11 end of search here we have output like the number 3 is found end of search here we are using go to statement to exit from inner loop so we need to use go to statements very carefully otherwise the program will be execute infinite times we will check one program with go to for infinite execution remove this code here write go to test write label test console.write line testing console dot write line hello execute this code f11 here first printing the statement testing letter hello here output is testing hello letter we have go to test 
then it will go to this label f11 then it will continue this statements execution here output is testing hello testing hello then it will go to test label then it will execute one more time here output like that so it will continue up to infinite times here output is printing like testing hello testing hello up to infinite times so we need to take care how to use go to statement inside the program if you use in bad way then the program will be executed infinite times what we discuss in this program is the go to statement transfers the program control directly to a label statement a common use of go to is to transfer control to a specific switch case label or the default label in a switch statement the go to statement is also useful to get out of deeply nested loops that's it for today if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel for future videos thank you for watching have a nice day